the offensive penalty has us back where we started as they come up on a first and ten. Fournette running out of the gun. And he'll be taken down at the 45. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Meanwhile, Brady's throw taken in by Evans here. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle is going to be made at the Rams' 20-yard line. Into the red zone, it's Brady. They'll swing this out to Fournette. And in for the Buccaneers, touchdown. Leonard Fournette, a 20-yard touchdown. And the Bucs are within a two-point conversion of tying us up. Bouncing back nicely from that bad opening drive where he threw the interception. Drive number two leads him right down the field and into the end zone. So obviously his confidence was never lost, and that's a good thing to see. Great quality to have. You absolutely must maintain that as a quarterback. But I have to think that they're probably still on the script that they prepared for this game. Just the second drive. They've worked on these plays all week in practice. Put them, put them to good use on that one. Well, it's definitely early enough here. They didn't need to go over two. They didn't have to go over two, but they, they did. We're all tied at eight. Is this one of those anything you can do, I can match? Because that's exactly what we got on that one. Neither one of these teams wants to give any ground, do they? And they're going to mark that where it went out of bounds. So really good starting field position up past the 40-yard line. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at the 41-yard line. Trying to get it to Beckham, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Jamel Dean. And the return comes to a 44-yard line. Well, certainly not his best throw that Charles when they were a nickel with five defensive backs on the field. And that's exactly why you have those five DBs out there. You want extra speed on the field. Guys who have ball skills and understand what the passing game can do and gives them a chance to react and make a play on the football and they take one of those away. Fournette, a first down carry. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Another scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. What that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? On play action, now Brady. This is caught by Evans. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. And remember, this drive started off following the turnover. And they've taken no time working their way down the short field. A nice connection there, and now they're looking at a first and goal. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. All right, quick observation, Brandon, because early on in this game, I'm seeing linebackers putting up their noses close to the line of scrimmage. And my guess is the wheels are turning on that other sideline. As a play caller, you're filing that away right now, aren't you? Yeah, you're trying to... And Evans calls it in. Touchdown, Bucks. Tom Brady with two first quarter touchdown passes. And the Bucs have taken the lead. On those slants, everything happens so quickly. What makes it work? The timing between the passer and the receiver. In this case, a slant route. Ordinarily, it's probably about three steps before you go on the slant. In this amount of time, I think it's a two-step deal. Boom, put his foot in the ground and got inside for the pass. Got inside for the pass, got inside for the catch and the score. And following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. 
And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling because a one-play drive where you throw an interception, a lot of people think the very next time out, run the football, don't give them a chance. Maybe play action? I think maybe you go play action, show your quarterback, get a little confidence in him, and let him fling another one. Rolling to his left. Room to run past midfield. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. To throw is Perkins. They'll roll him out right. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. He'll get 10 there all on his own, but it'll be second down. Now Perkins steps away to his left. And it's a fumble, but this will fortunately wind up out of bounds. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it.